may have so far been the biggest month for Warner Brothers. On May 5th, a new television series, Unicorns Warriors Eternal, released on HBO Max. This series is created by Gendy Tarvaski, creator of Samurai Jack and Primal, with him stating it being his most passionate project yet. Gendy has been working on this show for over 20 years, and he wants to create something that's truly different, even stating that there are plans for this original to have multiple seasons. It has an interesting art style and looks like a show with a very interesting world building. If everything can play in Gendy's cards, similar to Primal, this could be a game changer for American television for sure. On May 23rd, the streaming service HBO Max would officially be overhauled and turned into Max. I'm not the biggest fan of the blue color, but hey, I, I want more content, so I'm not complaining. With this rebranding came three new animated shows. First is Gremlins Secrets of the Mogwai, which is a sequel to the original Gremlins movies from 1984. This show, of course, is trying to revive the love for Gremlins, whether by the uh, uh, original fans or new fans alike but from what I've seen, there are some talented people working on the show, so it's probably going to be a worthwhile watch. The second show release is Clone High Season 2. After 20 years, the infamous Clone High has finally gotten a sequel, and, and if you want my thoughts on what Season 2 may bring, click here, but yeah, our favorite clones are back, and JFK is, uh, he's still JFK. The final show release, and the one with the most anticipation by far, is Villainous. This show originally aired in Latin America, and has gained a lot of acclaim from the internet, but has taken a few years to get dubbed into English and released in the US. Some people are complaining about why it's taken CN this long to release this series, but personally I think more content is something this network needs a lot, and having it now is better than not having it at all. And with that, those are the three new shows released in the rebranding of HBO Max to Max. Quite a lot of new stuff this month, and I'm hoping for this to continue for the future. But this got me thinking. If I was the executive CEO under the animation department of Max, what would I change? So here I have compiled a wish list of sorts for the network to take into consideration for other revivals because I think everything I'm about to list can only improve the network for the better and will get many eyes on. So here it is. First is a Ben 10,000 series, more or less on the TV 14 slash TVMA um, ratings. I think after the um, climatic uh, <laughs> failure of Ben 10 reboot, which while was great for some of the creators, didn't have the original intensity and action that the original Benton uh, trilogy, I guess I'll say, had. And I think a Benton 10,000 series going back to the uh, a part of the story that um, hasn't really been explored a lot with Ben 10,000, of course, being uh, an adult, I think is a great take because a lot of people grew up watching Ben 10 and have, and getting all those fans that watch Ben 10 to watch Ben 10,000 as like, you know, adults, more mature people is a great way to kind of like move this series on. Secondly, Smiling Friends Season 2. This is one of the funniest shows I've ever seen, has some of the best dialogue, and uh, including with Gendy in that uh, realm of extremely talented creators, I think the creators of Smiling Friends did a fantastic job. Does not feel like any other comedy out there, so this show definitely needs uh, another season because it's just phenomenal writing all around. So definitely another uh, contender for uh, an amazing turn of events for animation. Next is Galactic Kids Next Door, probably the most out there and outlandish um, kind of like uh, on this list. But um, yeah, this is a, um, Galactic, if you don't, for those who don't know, Galactic Kids Next Door is kind of like a sequel to a, ki a code name Kids Next Door. It was a show that aired back in 2008 in Cartoon Network. And yeah, it just kind of follows the same kids, but a little older and in space. It's kind of similar to Ben 10 in that way, but... And yes, I know the whole space trope is kind of overdone and overplayed, but I think uh, this is a nice way to kind of bring back an action show that is in Teen Titans or Ben 10. A little spoiler for the rest of the list, but nonetheless, I think it's a good way to kind of like, you know, have another suspenseful, uh, suspenseful and action-packed show that isn't something that, you know, is highly acclaimed by others. And I think, I think a lot of people would actually enjoy this series. Next up is the Gumball movie. This is 100% airing probably next year. I, I, like, it's been in development for two to three years now, so I can, I can only imagine when this is coming out. But I think Gumball is one of the most... Oh, it's another show where it is extremely creative, it's funny, and it's interesting. And I really do think the movie will kind of resurge that... Um, that like uh what you call like that um that expression that uh, gumball had of being an extremely creative and fun show and finally as i alluded to before we have teen titans season six this whole season six was kind of alluded to back in the movie where the teen titans met teen titans go characters like it is bizarre how that happened and we just haven't gotten anything yet and i think teen titans season six while it is another action series i do understand that I, I think it's amazing. Similar to Ben 10, as I said before, it is extremely popular. People would 100% watch it. New
new or old fans, and the season 6 is a great way to wrap up the story. Of course, there should also be originals, but unfortunately, it's kind of tough to bring that to light because I don't know really what else to say. I mean, I don't, I'm, on, I'm on a writer yet, so I don't know what to do. I really think CN slash Max has potential to make a comeback uh, in the next year, considering the shows that they've released in May alone. They just need to make some good choices and advertise a whole lot more, and I can see a bright future ahead of us. Thanks for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your day. Watch HBO, I'm uh, sorry, watch Max, I guess. Bye.